Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, we're going to learn how to run exploratory test in Microsoft Test Manager 2013. There are a couple of approaches that you can take in order to run your test cases in Microsoft uh, Test Manager. One is uh, exploratory test and other is formal uh, test case management. So the difference between these two is in formal test management, you go ahead and you make your um, test case plan, you store that, and you um, um, run your uh, test cases, and based on your test cases results, you make decisions and create bugs out of that. But in exploratory uh, test management case, uh, you don't need to have a plan. Uh, this is usually famous among the experienced tester. Uh, they know what they're doing uh, and uh, the application that they're testing, they know exactly what to test and uh, uh, this is pretty famous among those. So I'm going to show you that how to use that if you wanted to use exploratory test uh, case management in Microsoft Test Manager 2013. So I have, uh, here's my server and here is my Microsoft Test Manager. Uh, if you look at it right now, I'm at uh, test runs and uh, I have right here, I have ran some tests, uh, test cases. Right here is my requirement and these are three test cases. One is still active and other two, I have run the tests and uh, test cases. These two test cases have failed. So let's say that um, uh, I don't need to go back into the plan. I just wanted to go ahead and run the exploratory uh, testing. So if you click on analyze, you can click on here and you can analyze uh, your test runs. And if you click on do exploratory testing, you can go ahead and do that. And there are a couple options in order to start that. You can still go ahead and choose your particular work item and, um, uh, and, and run on that. And if you don't want to choose any particular work items, you can go ahead and use this option called Explore right here. If you click on that, it's going to open up uh, our exploratory uh, uh, testing manager. So uh, there are two options in there. You can just directly cl uh, click on Explore, and you can explore with options where you where you have to make some selections or you wanted to make some selection. There are some filters available for Explore with options that you could do that. So we're gonna go ahead in this demo, we're gonna go ahead and click on Explore. And it's going to open up a Microsoft Test Runner back behind the scene. But in this, up here, if you notice that recording status desktop, screen desktop disabled, voice recording disabled. So right now it's not uh, uh, doing the recording. What I'm gonna go ahead and do, which is fine with us, we're gonna, if you wanted to uh, open up, you could do that, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and start the testing. So click on start. What it does is basically, uh, you can just uh, go on application. Let's say I'm gonna go ahead and on my application and my application is uh, Google Gmail. That's my application. Uh, just for this demo purposes, I'm supposed to click on sign in and see if sign in page appears and that appeared and I'm going to go ahead and uh, put my credentials here techbrothers at gmail.com password and I'm supposed to click on sign in and also I'm supposed to click on whether it, it this works or not stay in sign in or need help and all that a kind of good stuff so when, once you do that uh, let's say that uh, something didn't work you have options right here you can create a bug out of that you can create a test case out of this you can add a screenshot out of this let's say during your uh, exploratory test case uh, uh, testing when you're running it you find a bug and I'm going to find a bug in a second and this is a bug that um, it wouldn't allow me to log in somehow there is an issue so what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go ahead and capture the screenshot right here so I'm gonna go ahead and it's gonna add that and I'm going to go ahead and capture the entire screen so that uh, my developer would know that um, This is my full screen right here. As you can see that uh, it can capture the whole screen. 
and what I'm going to do right now is uh, go ahead and create bug out of this so my bug is on the bug so that's gonna be um, my I'm just this is again this is just a, a demo purposes so you can uh, go ahead and do that and up here there's a very interesting thing that it'll uh, back behind the scene as I was um, mentioning in my previous videos that um, Microsoft test runner back behind the scene just doesn't just bring only these tools and steps for us it does really uh, capture the rich data back behind the scene and it, our recording if you look at it uh, is paused right now before that it was uh, recording and it, and it shows right here and now we are at a place where the recording went on so it'll record the whole thing let's say you just wanted to select this one because this is where and this one this is where you really had an issue so you can actually basically mark that as your uh, um, you know steps that uh, you're concerned about rest everything is okay you don't need to find that only thing needed is right here so you can go ahead and uh, create a bug right out of this and you can also create a test case let's say that uh, now this is what steps you need to take and uh, you will when you hit up here the, the uh, uh, test uh, create test case then it's going to create all the steps that you have taken and put it in a document or in a test case that other people can use it uh, let's say you're an experienced tester and you're uh, creating test cases for other folks that they can go ahead and use that and they can follow these steps so um, sometimes uh, it's it's really easy and it's really famous uh, as far as uh, um, you know test case management goes and it's much easier to use that as well and you can go ahead and once you're done putting up all the information and these are the uh, this is the information if you would like to put in as in bug you can do that and you can after once you're done you can go ahead and s save and create test case or save and close these are the two options that you get um, during the um, execution you have an option to click on create test case once you um, uh, once you open that once you uh, created the bug out of this then you can go ahead and actually create a test case from that I'm not going to create a test case out of this I'm gonna go ahead and uh, save and close all right so after uh, we're we're done right here it says uh, we have one bug and we're gonna go ahead and end our testing and view the results all right so we're back right here as you can see that these are the two screen captures we did and if you if you if you wanted to look at the view exploratory test session results and session when it it went you can go ahead and click on that and right here it says it's completed you can open and look at uh, again all the information that you are interested in if you look at the bugs there is one bug and you click on that bug and you can create a test case right here after that or you can just open and look at the bug testing case management in Microsoft uh, uh, testing manager 2013 I hope this video helps